Hello everyone, welcome back to the Apple Connect and in this video I'm going to talk about how to use the new iPhone calculator on iOS 18. So to use it, it's like the previous one but even though it's having a lot of features what I have to say probably so let's directly get into this. So first one we just need to go over here in the delete this and we have to navigate the calculator and this is how it looks like. So the first one, while looking at the end, this is how it looks like, just like the previous one, but even though it's having a lot of features. The first one is what about, we can do the summation over here itself. For example, in the previous iOS 17, when we used to do the calculations, you know, when we type some kind of a numeric value like this, and when we add the plus, what happens is this used to get vanished and another value has to be popped up over there and we'll be getting the final result. But over here right now, as you can see, when we type 231 plus 265, all the values and numerics have been shown over here itself, it's just like a cool feature right now. And if you go over here in the equals over here, it's give the answer like this. So this is what one of the first and foremost one tiny in uh, changes they have done from the iOS 17 to the iOS 18. And apart from this, there is one more thing that I wanted to make you notice is that over here, after you do like this, you might be doing random calculations over here. For example, let me do some random calculations like this and I got another value. And also I'm gonna do like one more time and I'm gonna get a value like this. So I have done the three calculations. And for example, if you wanted to cross check what are the calculations that you have done, you know, we have a history for that. So over here, if you check at the top, at the top, there is a top left, there is an icon like this. If you tap on this one, you can see under the today, these are some of the calculations which I have done today. That is, you know, the, first, the last one we did, which got the answers of 327, then the previous one, 621 and 496. So which is actually like, you know, you're getting a uh, search history, like, you know, the calculation history for the calculations you have done already. And you can uh, get, you can check it, cross check it if you wanted to or you have done any kind of mistake. And also if you wanted to remove these kind of things that is also possible, just go over here in the edit icon. And now over here, some of these are some of the calculations which I done long back. So I'm gonna select these and I want to go for delete it. I can go for delete all so that the history is being deleted and it's all the calculations are completely gone. And right now I'm gonna go back and this is how it looks like. So this is what it comes to the basic calculator feature and how it can delete the histories. And move to the next one. If you go over here at the bottom, we have this particular option. And there is an option called scientific. If we tap on this one, as you can see, we have a, all the options on the scientific calculations. You know, it is going to help you guys out because this is not the same. Because in the previous one, if you wanted to get the scientific calculations, we have to take the phone like this. But right now, we don't need. We can just uh, just change from the numeric, the normal one, to the scientific. So we get these kind of values over here. We can see that all the scientific values are here right now. So all these equations can be calculated like this. Uh, sine 252, they're going to give you an answer like this. And if you wanted to type any other thing for example you know course you can get an answer like this also so it will be getting all the answers over here as well so we have all the uh, not only just a normal calculator but even though we are having the scientific calculator just adapter over here and also moving to the third one we which is tap over here there is an option called math not which is actually written over here just tap on the math knot. And right now, as you can see, I have already done a few calculations. So right now, I'm gonna do some, just go over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type some values. For example, I'm gonna type over here that two, three, four, plus I'm gonna type a value. That is, I'm gonna type. So uh, plus I'm gonna type another value. That is four, five, six. So it gives an answer like this. You don't have to press any equal or you don't have to give anything. Just type the value and they're gonna give you the answer over here. So they're gonna give you the answers and that is all done with this as well. So if you just go back, you can see these are some of the calculations which I have done for the video purpose because I just wanted to cross check whether then it can work for you as well. So I've done over here. And if you want to delete it, just go over here. We can go over here, you can make the sign of this, so you can sort by group by dates, you can select respective node if you wanted to, you can select all the nodes over here. And if you want to delete it, you can go over here and you can completely delete it. And right now we're not having any options. So just go on back to the basic and this is how it looks like when it comes to the calculator. So it's having a lot of features and it's kind of like, you know, uh, you know, much advanced one, what I have to see probably from the 17 to iOS 18. And I really like this, it's gonna help a lot of users in all the way. And I really appreciate the feature which they have added over here, it's like, you know, we get a history of what we have calculated or the equations we have done or any calculations what we have done so far so you can cross check yourself over here. So I really appreciate Apple for doing this and this is when it comes to how to use the calculator and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more of these kind of videos. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.